remember that man had a great city here not so many years ago. But look at it now. Nothing to eat. And nothing to drink. Man chased all the animals away to build this place. So he moves on and leaves us with his mistakes. It seems to me, my dear, that the only green spot left in this whole country is Noah's farm. Well, where is that green hilltop on the horizon? Yes, but that's the lion's knoll. We wouldn't be welcome there. We'd be more welcome with a fellow wild animal than we would be on a man's farm. Yeah, the worst he can do is chase us away. And then we'd be no worse off than we are now. I say we get started now, so we're there before dark.
is going to be a little rough at first. So try to make yourselves as comfortable as possible. It may be a long voyage. I wish us all Godspeed. Thank <laughs> you. 
first. The raven is a powerful flyer, so he's just the bird to scout out any crags that may have emerged from the flooded earth. Raven, do you accept this mission? Oh, yes, sir, Noah. Uh, I mean, Captain. Very well, then. You will leave at dawn. Yes, sir, Noah. I mean, Captain. You're not taking orders from Noah, see? You're taking orders from me. And I say, you're going on that mission. And you'll find some land. But not for Noah, for us. Get it? <laughs> yes, Captain. I mean, Croc. When you find land, don't come back until it's dark. We free animals will be waiting for you by this window. When we hear you tapping, that's our signal to jump ship. <laughs> oh, a share for you, a share for me, as long as the most is left for me. That's general generosity, share a share of white. A share for you and two I loan, this charity begins at home. Common fact most commonly known. Share a share of life. A share for me, a share for us. I'll never understand the fuss. So glad we have a mutual trust. Share a share of life. Remember, on your strong wings rests the fate of this ark and all who sail on her. Hey, yes, sir, Croc. I mean, Noah. over 
this. Look, my friends. An olive branch. And where there's an olive branch, there's an olive tree. And where there's an olive tree... in a hurry. When the Lord told me to get two of every kind of bird and beast and put them in the ark, they lost no time in accepting the invitation. 
No sooner was the last one in than it started to rain. Then the floods came, and we were off on the wildest and most dangerous journey you can imagine. Sometimes even I began to wonder if God had changed his mind about us. But after 40 days and 40 nights, it stopped raining, and the skies cleared. A mutinous little group, headed by the crocodile, decided to jump ship and sailed off on his back, looking for land. They came upon a small island and were very pleased with themselves because they thought they'd found the only land on Earth. In the meantime, I decided to send the dove out to find land because we were running short of food and water. The dove flew off into the distance like a brave little fellow. For hours, we searched the sky, and just when we'd about given him up, we saw him flying back. Poor little bird, he was exhausted, and I caught him just in time. But when the dove brought out a twig from an olive tree, we knew we were going to be saved. So off we went at top speed, and the little dove guided us right to the olive tree. When the ark ran aground, the animals were frightened. But then the waters began to recede, revealing the lush green top of Mount Ararat. But as for the crocodile and his friends, I guess disloyalty breeds disloyalty. Because they left him alone on the crag, feeling mighty sorry for himself. The animals were glad to get out of the ark and walk on solid ground once more. But then they began to worry. God might do this again. But at that moment, a beautiful rainbow appeared in the sky. God's promise that we'd never have another flood. It looked as though all our troubles were over. My job was ended. But wait till you see what's happened to us all. Mmm, you ought to try the grapes. Delicious. I bet so much I'm about to bust. You've got some nerve. Too fat and lazy to pick your own? Really, my dear, the only problem with living in the ark all these months is having to mingle with the common herd, so to speak. Well, in some ways, she's right, my dear. All this eating and no exercise, we're all getting somewhat portly. We should be thinking about leaving the Ark. Leave the Ark? You're being absurd. He's right, you know. The reason God saved us all was so that we'd spread out around the world and repopulate the Earth. There you go again, sticking your nose into other people's business. We like it here. Yeah. We never had it so good. Sleeping on soft straw instead of snow drifts. And parties every night. It's uh, Arcadia. You mean Arcadia, don't you, my dear? Who would ever leave a paradise like this? Everything we hoped for that the old world missed. And now that it's here. We're here to sing. Because Arcadia. We just do what we want. Party on our own time. In Arcadia. In Arcadia. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I still disagree. And I heartily agree with your disagreement, old sport. What I think we... Hey, the man upstairs wants to see us right away. On the double, as they say. And for heaven's sake, old boy, try not to trip on the stairs. Ow! Sorry about that. <laughs> have, uh, have you heard of the new theory that some animals are more accident-prone than others? <laughs> well, I'd say that if it was a contest, the lion would win. Feed up. Thank you for coming, my friends. You seem to be the only animals who understand why God spared everybody aboard the Ark. We sure do, Captain Noah. 
And just as soon as we winter animals finish our raft, uh, we're going to hightail it back up north to repopulate the pole. Me too. I want to help too. I see. There is one thing that needs doing before you leave the ark. When God promised to repopulate the earth, he said that he would do it with every living creature. And that includes Brother Crocodile. Not the croc. Why, he's a plain, ornery old maverick. Nevertheless, I want him to come back to the ark. I'd be glad to do it, but uh, uh, we aren't on speaking terms. Well, I don't like the croc any more than you do. But he is one of God's creatures. I'll try to get him to come back. Thank you, Lion. We'd all appreciate it. Don't worry, Captain Noah. I won't let you down. Turtle! Turtle! Take me to the Croc's Crag. The Croc's Crag? Not me. I'm off duty as of this minute. The Croc's Crag. Noah's orders. Why didn't you say so? to be alone. Is that your final word? No, this is. Noah told me to tell you. And it's very important. Noah must be in some kind of trouble or he wouldn't want me to come back. But I'll never do it because... I'm a loner. I'm the king of the crocs, and I live on these rocks. I'm as happy and strong, and I get along. Here's why. I crave my own crag. I don't need a flag, not me. Don't need anyone. I'm my own fun, you see. I'm a loner who has everything I'll ever need to survive, because I get along with me, myself, and I. thing gonna break up. I'll have to get up early tomorrow and click on the rack. If they put all that energy into leaving the ark, we'd have the whole earth repopulated by next Tuesday. Spoil fart, wet blanket. You're only saying that because you can't dance. I can't too dance. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a great dancer. I'll show you. <laughs> Daddy was a hoofer even though he had a paw. He taught me how to sing and dance and float across the floor. And though it's been quite some time, I remember the old routines. Like the old soft father they scream for more. Oh, how the audience screamed. What are you all looking at? I'm back. My friends, I'm glad to see we're all here. Uh, you wanted to see me about something, Captain Noel? I wanted to see all of you. I wish to remind you that my mission was to build an ark and take you through the Great Flood. My job is finished. Now your mission is to leave this ark and repopulate the Earth. You... you mean you're not going with us? But then, who's gonna help us out there? He'll be there when you need him. If you need him, just you pray. He'll be there if you need him. Any time to guide your way. 
But your way must be started and traveled by yourselves. Cause God helps those who help themselves. So move on, my dear friends, and begin a brand new time. There's a new world waiting for us. A new world we must find. But your way must be started and traveled by yourselves. Cause God helps Well, fine, Captain Noah. But who's going to lead us? Who's going to be the king of the beasts? Just as God told me to build the ark, he will show you who your king should be. Um, how's he going to do that? God works in mysterious ways. There's nothing mysterious about it. I'll tell you who the king should be. Me, because I can handle it. I got no other responsibilities. You all have families, or you're expecting. But I'm a loner, a bachelor who can spend all his time carrying the burdens of office, grappling with the cares of state, meeting my responsibilities. Now hear this. Now hear this. Will Brother Crocodile come to my office immediately? There, you see? No one needs me for some advice. Lucky for him, I'm back. Uh, what can I do for you, uh, Captain Noah? You uh, got some kind of a uh, problem? I did have. When you came aboard without a lady crocodile, I was worried. But the Lord provided the answer. These are yours. Well, well, what do you mean? Mine? I got no time for a family. I'm going to have too many responsibilities being king of the beasts. If you can't handle the problems of fatherhood, why should we believe that you'd make a good king? Think it over, friend. Oh, I've been framed. What am I going to do? I got to get rid of these things fast. Mama! Mama! Here we are! Shut up! I'm not your mama, and I'm not going to be your papa either. I'm going to be king of the beasts. Wow! Well, mama! Don't leave us! Be quiet. Somebody might hear you. a good idea. You kids have a nice, long sleep. Because I need time to think. How am I going to get to be king of the beasts before somebody finds out about this mess? Mama! What's the matter now? You forgot to kiss us goodnight. I never kissed anybody in my life. And I ain't about to start now. Mama! All right, all right. All right, anything to keep you brats quiet. Now, go to sleep. Well... Now what? You got to sing us a lullaby, Mama. I told you, I'm not your mama. I'm your papa. What am I saying? Okay, uh, lullaby. Come on, team, now tip the scale. Give them that good old crocodile tail. In the right, in the left, in the head, in the shin. Fight, fight, fight. Oh, win, win, win. Ah! What's the matter now? That's not a lullaby. What do you mean it's not a lullaby? You sing a lullaby. There will be a new day for me. Living play. Him. Nobody! 
I quite agree. For let me say, with all due modesty, that I'm the best qualified to be the king of the beasts. To begin with, I'm very strong. I shall put this great strength at the service of society. High society. <coughs> and I may even say, the upper crust. In this world of reform, some must take the platform. Give the poor a dream to dream in. Speak so it has a clearer meaning. In this world of chaos, some must take the day. Yes, I'm a leader born to be. Nothing's too big or small for me. That just doesn't seem right to me. A king of the beasts who's for the few and not the many? Yeah, how about me, for instance? A mouse! Don't let him get me! Help me! Save me! A mouse! If you're gonna choose that windbag as king of the beasts, I'm resigning from the animal kingdom. I say we go and see Polar Bear. He should be the king of the beasts. Hooray! Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> What is it? We think you ought to be king of the beasts. Hold on there. I don't want to be king. I'm strictly a working bear. I have the world in the palm of my hand. Cause my hand will build my world. I'm the proletariat who gets things done. And accomplishment is my kingdom. Working, building a kingdom in the snow is the only kingdom that I need to know. I guess our polar bear draft is gone with the wind. The time has come, the walrus said. <laughs> Enjoy a real old-fashioned torchlight rally. Tell you what I'm gonna do. Yeah, tell us. It's three o'clock in the morning. Everybody is asleep but us. Thank you, friend. I couldn't have said it better myself. My message to you is this. When I'm king of the beasts, you don't have to leave this on. You've got a home here in perpetuity. In perpetuity. In perpetuity. Because who wants to set the world on fire? You don't want to set the world on fire. I don't want to set the world on fire. Nobody wants to set the world on fire! Must have happened to know. Look, the fire's locked the door. Who? Who's going to help us now? We're going to help ourselves. Rhino, we need you to batter us a hole. Aye, aye, sir.
in mysterious ways. Well, goodbye, Captain Noah. I guess you know I learned my lesson. I'm glad to be back in the animal kingdom again, Your Majesty. Cheery bye, Captain Noah. Good show, Lion. I mean, Your Majesty. I'm bound to say it. You've taught me what a real king's made of. Goodbye, Captain Noah. So long, Your Majesty. If any of you ever get up to the North Pole, just drop by and say hello to a fat old bear. I wish you luck in starting your farm again. Goodbye, Captain Noah. And thanks. You taught us well. I'm proud of all of you. Goodbye until we meet again. You've been a man who's been a friend. You helped us learn to understand. You saved our families and our land. You kids are gonna love being prince and princess of the Nile. is the life. Sunbathing, our own river to swim in. Hey, I told you kids you were going to love being prince and princess of the Nile. Yeah, we love it here. The water's nice and cool, and there's plenty of thick, gooey mud. That's it. You kids have a good time. No monster. You kids are gonna have to stop and match. So I had to hold my breath when the flood came. Do you mean to say you held your breath for 40 days and 40 nights? Yep. And after that, I lost count. Hey, he's a reptile, just like us. Yeah, only bigger. Bless your hearts. You're right. I am a reptile, just like you. Did you come from an egg? That's right, Sonny. That happened a long, long time ago. Our shells were thick and strong. Cracking through was a beautiful song that trembled through the valleys and the glen. Then came the Ice Age change when all life would rearrange. Ah, but that was way back when. Dinosaurs were the living end. Brontosaurus, Stegosaurus, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Many 
Stankylosaurus, Stankylosaurus, jump and lose its butt next. Life was spectacular, and I'm not bragging. But alas, I'm the last of the red hot dragons. He's a gas. He's the last of the red hot dragons. I breathe giant fireballs, and I try to warm them all. But Mother Nature has a nature all her own. Still, I'd fly all around, warming up the frozen ground. Ah, but that was way back when. Yes, that was way back when. When Brontosaurus, Dinosaurus, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Megalosaurus, Ankylosaurus, Jumping Lizards were next. All life was monstrous, all tails were wagging. But alas, he's the last of the red. Out of gas, I'm the last of the red hot dragons. So you see, I'm the only one left. I'm nothing but an old prehistoric wreck. The last of the red hot dragons. You're one of us now, dragon. Welcome to the animal kingdom. Yes. Welcome aboard, old chap. Well, that's mighty nice of you. See, Mama? Now we have a great, great, great grandmama. Don't call me grandmama. I don't mind being your grandpa, though. Can Grandpa stay here with us? Can he, Papa? Of course. Never let it be said that we don't take care of our senior citizens. Jumping Jupiter Pluvius. That's right, neighborly. Well, it's time to move on. Where's the next spot on our inspection tour, Elephant? The Arctic, sire. The Arctic. I wonder how Polar Bear and his friends are making up. With lots of ice, it's twice as nice as anywhere. Give me a mountain, ah, ain't it something to be as strong as a bear? We hang on to what makes us happy, and danger just becomes a thing to pass. We'll find a home and place here, on a cozy place here. We found our dream at last. Twice as nice as anywhere. You crazy man! We claim this ice on behalf of all the creatures of the animal kingdom. <laughs> and tusks. What happened? <laughs> Guess I overdid it. We're trapped! Trapped! And I get claustrophobia! Unwind, little fella. That's better. Let's keep our cool, folks. No reason to panic. Where there's a way in, there's a way out. Way out. Uh, see, see, uh, you people all got excited for nothing. Then let's get out of here. Now there's no way out. We're trapped. I ruined everything. Don't worry, partner. You couldn't help it. Look over here! I can see out! It's a window of ice. Window? It's a wall of ice. We're gonna have to bust out. Well, we'll 
just have to think of something else. If only we could get help from the outside. <laughs> Have you gone crazy? Stop it. Stop, 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 stop it. Stop it. Stop it! Hey! He's gone crazy! Listen, he's not crazy. That's an SOS signal. An SOS signal? Uh, uh, Porter Bear's a genius! Genius! Since I done any flying. The I ask. How long? I disremember exactly, but about uh, maybe 70, uh, 80 years. Hey, 70? Uh, why don't I babysit for the children? Oh, no, you don't. We're all in this together. Crocodile's right. We're going to need all the brains and all the muscle. Just a minute. Just a minute. I don't even know if my wings is in working order. To say nothing of my motor. As the feller says, don't count your dragons before they're hatched. Sure feels rickety, though. Hope I haven't run out of gas. Now, one of you fellers crank me up. You gotta put your back into it, son. Oh, 
must have had a big dinner. Ugh. Don't be insulting. Anyhow, I doubt if you can manage to get off the ground, much less fly us to the North Pole. Bertman Brontosaurus, you got me all riled up. Just you pull in them big ears, and here we go. Real sorry about that. It's just that my eyes aren't all that good anymore. Good heavens, man! Watch out! <laughs> Miraculous mastodons! We made it! That was fun! Do it again! Listen, you kids, keep quiet. Let's not give them any more ideas. What a way to go. I'm above it all, and don't you know how I love to kiss a passing cloud. What a shout out loud. What a way to go. What a way to play. Up and down as we begin to sway. This has been. Cloud, what a shout out loud! Say, where did everybody go? Uh, uh, I say, are you there? Somebody? Anybody? you let it be shucks you gotta have some hope like me i never let go and don't you know what a way to go i'm awful hungry here try that all right, we can't get through this wall of ice. There's no use trying. But I got another idea. Yay! Oh, look at that polar bear. We're all gonna get out of here. We're all gonna get out of here. Yay! Are you all right? I don't see why anyone would want to live in a place like this. But you could build a hundred million snowmen and make a billion, trillion snowballs! I figure that ice cave's gotta be around here someplace. Trouble is, it's like trying to find a needle on a porcupine. It seems ominous that we haven't heard another signal. You don't suppose that they're all... Keep circling low. Maybe we'll pick something up. You'll have to find them soon, or you'll have to pick me up. I'm getting plumb wore out with this overload. I resent that, Captain. Try 
that rough-looking area to starboard, Dragon. Aye, aye, Your Majesty. I'd say fasten your seatbelts, if we had any. We're heading into some bad turbulence. Is tablets when we go up and down a lot? That's right. Yippee! Ride em, Grandpa! Woohoo! I never thought it would end like this. What's that? I hear something. It sounds like a big bumblebee. Bumblebee? You ever see a bumblebee with an elephant on his back? It's King Lion. We're saved. We're saved. They didn't see us. They're going away. Quick, the signal. I could hear them. They must be close. So can I. It's coming from back there. Can you land back there? Yep. But just get ready for a mighty bumpy belly whopper. Polar bear, I presume? You presume right. Can you get us out of here? Could you do it soon? It's cold in here. Keep a stiff upper lip. We'll save you. Yeah? How? By Jove. I haven't the foggiest. Can't you ever use your head? That's it. You can use that head of yours to break through. Righto. One side, crocodile. I'm coming through. Move back, everybody, or you'll get trampled on. You're out! I'm sorry, Your Majesty. It was a good try. Papa, we got an idea! It's a good one, too! Just let the grown-ups figure things out. Little crocodiles should be seen and not heard. I'd like to hear your idea. Great Grandpa, he could blow a big fire and melt a big hole in the ice. Couldn't you, Grandpa? Dilapidated Diplodocus. I should have thought of that myself. Give them a chance. They're doing their best. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but 40 days and 40 nights of holding my breath underwater has plumb discombobulated my boilers. You don't mean... My flyer's going out. This is our darkest hour. That is a lot of malarkey. You all had the wrong idea. Watch this. Look at him go! I'm afraid you're out too, old sport. Stand back. That old fella knows what he's up to. Thanks. Don't thank me. Thank our new friend, the last of the Red Hot Dragons. Yep, that's me, all right. I 
gave up, my flame was gone. It came back like a beautiful song. That singing in my heart so brave and true. I brought back the good old times with the power of my mind. I'm a gas. I'm the last of the red hot dragon. Brontosaurus, Dinkosaurus, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Megalosaurus, Anglosaurus, Jumping Lizards, what's next? We never saw a reptile as great as you, Grandpa. Did you ask what's next? Kids, you ain't seen nothing yet. 